You ready? Let's do it. Fitz has never been so ready before in his entire life. Wow. What up, wieners? We are fully back on the scenes, and I'm still with my buddy, my high school buddy, Fitz, who you guys probably saw in one of my last videos. But he flies out at 6 p.m., so I figured we'd make the most of this trip since we don't get to see each other that often and do some fishing. Today, we are on a legendary body of water. I've never fished here before. The, uh, the squad has fished here a few times, and they've told me that it is quite possibly one of the best lakes they've ever had the pleasure of making a cast into. So I'm not sure if you guys caught the little juicy intro there, but we are super excited to announce that we are gonna be running a limited edition gold series Guggen Squad apparel. Be sure to download the app for Apple and Android so that you guys can get updated when we have that Black Friday sale of all that limited gear. Again, this is like super limited run. So be sure to be one of the first ones to scoop that. And if you get the app, it'll notify you on your phone so you don't have to go searching on the website. But that's pretty sick. Enough talking, let's get in the old 16 foot slow and go crank up the fish. I got a little wet. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh Jesus. Fitz, what's going on? We're good. Woo. Didn't even get that wet. We're fine. Let's go crank them. Start on this green. Wheel. That one? I think I got a fish. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did that actually just happen? Wait, it's mine. Yeah, I know. I know. But you were... You were snagged and you freaking had a fish. That was actually ridiculous, Fitz. I don't know if you guys saw it on the GoPro, but Fitz and I just crossed each other. And we're like, oh wow, this is a really close, this is a huge cluster. And then the fish eats his crankbait while it's snagged in my line. You'll never see that ever. That's <laughs> insane. So there's our first fish of the day. I think we're gonna stop right here and make some casts because I do believe that this is the zone. Wow, I cannot believe you just did that. Like, dude, you were literally in my line and he ate it while it was, I, was I got one. In the we're doubled. Are you ready for the most legendary fishing day of your entire life? Like, this is insane. So my first cast, I've got one. Fitz took a first cast. Oh, dude, this is huge. This is a good fish. <laughs> oh, my God, it's a tank. Yeah, welcome to Texas, my guy. Even, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah, sorry, we're in Oklahoma. I forgot, we're not even in Texas right now. What an absolute... That's like three pounds. Oh, my God. Like, this did happen yesterday. We did get like, two, we got a bite immediately, but then it wasn't good the rest of the day. That guy absolutely destroyed my clutch. This is going to be absolute legendary. Holy moly. Whew. You just saw it like, that was wild. You said you want to see one strike, right? Yeah, it was like yeah, right there. Right there. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is great. Perfect, dude. This is like the perfect stuff to be fishing. It's flat, a little bit of grass, but not insane. Got one. You're on. That's a good fish. How does that one feel? If you do feel like it's a big one, just yell that too and I'll help you out. That one seems like it's pretty solid. Okay, that's a giant fish. <laughs> this is a good one, dude. Oh my God. I haven't seen it yet. The fact we haven't seen it is so scary. Just keep her tight, just keep her tight. That's a big fish, dude. Oh, he's in the grass. It's good, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Oh my God, it's all good. Just keep him tight, just keep him tight. There we go. In the net. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Un freaking! Oh that's your second fish of the day, and it's like a five pounder. We're actually gonna weigh it real quick. Oh my god! It's honestly, my goal for when Fitz came to Texas was that we catch fish. That's all I wanted to do. I wanted to not have to like grind it out. How that's got to be one of your biggest fish this ever. Is definitely. I mean, dude, we'll weigh it. That's over five hundred percent. How is dude? How does that feel? <laughs> I cannot believe this just happened, you guys. Like, I heard about the hype. I knew this place was the sizzle. But literally, we have spent a whopping five minutes out here. I've got a three-pounder. He's got a five-pounder. Like, dude, look at this fish. Like, I don't think understand. That is such a healthy bass. Let's weigh him. Let's weigh him real quick. See how big Where's he is. That? Where is the scale at? Unbelievable. <laughs> you think that's bigger than the one that I got? I think so, about? man. Yeah. That, 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 like, the, the thing is that they're, they're just, they eat different. Oh, shit. I don't have the battery. That's fine. That's fine. Just put it back. You're not worried about it. Okay. We just snapped some pictures of this buse. Honestly, such a good fish. Time to send her back. How clear that water is, too, man. This place is super sick. <laughs> we'll put her there, dude. Unreal. Second fish Unreal. of the day. This is like whatever is past legendary is what today is, essentially. What's crazy, too, is I don't even know where we caught that fish, but I'm pretty sure we could throw anywhere and probably get a, a, just as good of a bite. Right now, Fitz and I are both focusing on throwing the clutch. 
The clutch is such a good cold water, springtime, early winter bait. Lipless cranks absolutely puts them in the coffin. So we are on a, or I guess we're in seven, but we were a nine foot when Fitz caught that fish. We're on a nine foot flat, super grassy. These fish are eating a little bait right now and we're just working it. Epic, man. I feel like I shouldn't even be talking right now. I need to be fishing. It's so sick. Oh my God, this is like quite possibly the perfect place to be doing what we're doing. Oh, what's that? Another fish. Who would have thought? <laughs> You want to release those guys today like that? Don't even bother. So glad. Yeah, springtime too, like, in, especially in Tennessee. There's one. Yeah. That's a little one, but it's a fish. I guess here too, when you get little ones, they're telling me this, like, you'll have a fish right behind, like a bigger one, come and try to eat the, like, a fish like that, like a fish like that. Yes. So, that's nuts. Just a little one. So far, this is a little fish, and I'm, like, not super stoked, but. Believe me, if I caught this like a few weeks ago when Texas was experiencing some awful weather, I'd be so jacked. But it's all in perspective. Today's gonna be a nice day. The fish are chompy and will continue to be chompy. Uh, we've had a, a bit of a cold streak these past, like I think two or three nights. It's gotten down to the 30s. I've had to like literally de-ice my car in the morning. I don't own a scraper living in Texas, so I literally had to just like thaw it out. So it's nuts. It's gonna be 60, it's gonna be 70 today. This fish should just be nibbling heavily. Now, as you can see, we've already got quite a few fish in the boat, so there's no question that we're gonna get them to open up. Good fish. We doubled. <laughs> yeah, we're doubled. First double today. No, you don't really need to. This one feels good. Oh yeah, mine's pretty good. Mine's like probably three pounds. Jesus, dude, freaking nice and healthy in here, my lord. Literally insane. Such a difference to how they're eating yesterday too. They're like, they're actually eating it today. Oh my god, that is my second, or sorry, third fish of the day. Probably just another three pounder, three pounder. Good fish, dude. Holy moly. First double of the day. Look at that. How mega is that double? Again, we're 15 minutes into the fishing session right now. <laughs> Clutch know. is putting in work. <laughs> so Woo! How epic so is this, me. bro? <laughs> Dude, unreal. Unreal. It really is. Like, like, I didn't want to hype it up, but like, I also want to get you stoked. I was like, this could be legit, man. This could be like honestly the best fishing day of your life. And it's already, I think, getting there. I mean, this is one of the best fishing days I've had in fall, no doubt. Like, they're, they're suicidal right now. Mm -hmm. Every cast could be, any cast also could be just an absolute disgusting with huge fish too. I know, that's like what? That's the scary thing, honestly, I think. Yeah, I mean, there's another one. Like, I'm not even gonna be, I'm not even gonna put a quarter of these fish in the video. Sounds easy enough. Like, okay, sure. Didn't think it would be that easy. Like, dude, I'm on again. Like, what in the hell? Are you actually? Yeah, I swear to God, this is the craziest freaking lake I've ever been to. Oh, this is a good one. Oh my God, it's a good fish. Oh, yeah. It's a really good one. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh my God, this is a tank actually. Like maybe six or seven pounds, maybe six. Oh, there's one right below him. Oh my God, there's one just as big right below him, dude. Oh my God. I'm actually really stoked right now. I'm not just saying it's just a six pounder, but like you understand like no, okay. this is just, this is probably about five. Oh my God, dude, it's a butterball. <laughs> Look at this fish. Enormous, absolutely enormous. I love this clutch. Oh my God. It is just put And honestly, it's a perfect day to be throwing lipless crankbaits, you guys. Like a little bit of breeze. We got a warming trend and it's just like a nine foot grassy flat. Like this is an ideal situation for this bait. There's no other bait that I'd be throwing right now. Like jig, not an option. Um, you know, I guess you could be throwing like a little crawl on the bottom, but this is just so much more effective. You can cover so much water. You want to? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm holding a five pounder while Fitz is potentially hooked up to another. Oh, that's a, that's a good fish. That's another giant one. Yeah, it's a nice one, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm in heaven right now. Right now, Fitz is reeling in this like good quality three pounder, and then right below him, right there is like an eight, like a seven or eight. He, I think he's either trying, I think he's trying to get the bait out of its mouth. Wow. I was trying to get an underwater shot, but you know, GoPro doesn't have This thing just like totally the bed. I had one of the coolest opportunities to basically get like an eight pounder chasing a three pounder, and this thing just died on me. I don't know what's going on, but. The whole goal for today is get some sick underwater footage because this water is crystal clear. Also, I've got a bass just chilling on the deck. I should probably do something about that. Do it. Look at those studs. Oh, 
god. Okay, the goal now is to catch the fish that was following yours. Yeah, that, that exactly. thing was huge. I don't know if you guys got a good perspective on it. Again, I was trying to put that stupid GoPro on the water, but it kept malfunctioning. But anyway, I've never seen it like that. Like that was like a giant fish chasing a pretty big one that Fitz was hooked up to. But we're in the land of monsters. Unbelievable, man. I just can't, I keep saying it, but it actually is unbelievable. Oh wow, I just stopped it. I hate it. That's interesting. There's another one right behind him. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might be going towards yours, right? He just shot off. He might be going towards your bait. Oh my god! Dude, that was so sick! Oh my god! Oh my god! That fish was following mine in, and I'm like, yo, Fitz, he just left. I think he's going after yours. Sure enough, you caught him. Oh my god, that dude. Was that was just crazy. stupid. <laughs> you like literally like play called that, like football. Yeah, that never happens, by the way. <laughs> Well, I cannot believe that just happened. I'm sure you guys got that. Fitz described it perfectly. It was like literally a play call situation. I had my fish bring in another one, like a little a little loner. And uh, that was the one that I had hooked and that was the one that was following it. And we both caught them. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Crazy. Yeah, it's center back, big send. I wonder what he's doing. Oh, wait, you're hooked up. <laughs> so sick. I know, well, he, like, well, he was so, he was kind of, like slowly moving and then he just jolted. I'm like, I wonder if that's because he saw yours. He saw what his buddy had in his mouth and he's like, I want to get hooked too. Yeah. That makes no yeah, sense. Like yeah, it's like, that oh, looks just like it. I'm going to eat it too. Nuts. They almost like feel it before they actually see it, you know? I at least have, we at least have five each. Let's just say that. So yeah, there's 10 total, we at least. So 10 total. I forgot to do that, damn it. I always, I always do though. There's one. Eleven. Can we switch lures? I think so. This is. Oh, I spoke to someone. Can we, can we try the jig? Yeah. I, this. This is like me yesterday. Yeah. I should probably switch the jig. I hooked it again. I said eleven before I reeled him in. That was so dumb of me. Oh. Yeah. That was eleven pounder. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, that's fifteen right there. Gosh, fifteen. No, I just pulled. Yeah, she has no idea how insane this is. Think about that. We're losing our minds. She's like, what? What's the big deal? This grass got a whole lot better. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you had one. 12, yeah. They fight so hard as well. They eat just about anything you throw at them. Oh my gosh. Another one. Probably about three. It's so funny, I got into nine feet and now we're eating, but there was like nothing happening back there in six feet. But I imagine the warmer it gets, we'll probably find some a little bit. There's actually a drop off. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, okay. I wasn't so sure because, you know. Feel that good at all? Yeah, that's a nice one. Quite close to three. Hammered it. What? Yeah, on camera. Oh, do I want the camera? No, no, I'm good. Wow, that's a good one. That's a good fish. Oh my god, that's a good fish, dude. No, it's not even that big. Oh my god, the camera. It's not even that big, he's just a cold drag. That right there is number 50. We have caught a total of 50 fish in what time is it? 12? In a half day, we've caught 50 freaking bass. Quality number 50 too, that's probably about close to three pounds. Maybe like two and a half. This is unfreaking believable. Most mega day I've ever had of fishing, undoubtedly. At least largemouth when it comes to largies. See you later, number 50. Would you like to fish here? You're getting out of here? Oh, you got your fix, right? You're done? Yeah. <laughs> oh, because a lot of snags out here, right? All that grass. Hey, Matt, have you ever seen one of these before? I got a bunch in the box. Yeah. We should have a big cookout. 
Here, Rackley, can I just step over and grab something really quickly? He's got like, look at the dirt just flying off my shoe. <laughs> so the crappie fishing was bass fishing. How does that work? That's a nine. That's a <laughs> nine pounder. That is a here. You can touch the rod mat and feel the feel the power of. <laughs> what don't we just like slam Rackley's brand new boat right now? <laughs> I've never been like so nonchalant about reeling in a four pounder. This is like ridiculous. That's a good fish. Look at that. Anyway, here is another like three and a half pounder. Uh, Rackley, Matt, and Lunkers are also on this lake catching fish. You guys caught like like, like 20 fish and you're done, right? Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. Literally insane. Look, yeah, there we go. It's a like, oh, that, that, that one's a boxer right there. <laughs> That's a boxer. Yeah, oh my god. Oh. A lot of them were 10 pounder. Look at this, this is ridiculous. We are casually having a conversation about this lake and I just set hook like, didn't even beat us like, just didn't even beat a... You ever just skate a three pounder on the water? <laughs> Jesus, dude, this is insane. Oh, we've had at least like a dozen. <laughs> Fins hooked up. That's a good one. Yeah. This is really ridiculous. Ooh, yeah. Um, yeah, see you later, guy. Yeah, no, 100%. He had like a like a really nice like, oh my God, there's one behind him. Look at the one behind him. There's three of them. <laughs> see if you get the other one to eat it. Sometimes you let that fit, like he'll eat the, um, Hang on, hang on. Oh my God, Fitz. <laughs> that was that was literally the fish that followed up Fitz's fish. That's happened like a few times today, like pretty crazy stuff, honestly. <laughs> unreal. I feel like the word of the day is just legendary and unreal. We've, yeah. we've said that so many times just because of how insane the bite has been. I don't know if you guys caught that, but Fitz had like two fish following him. And uh, I was like, oh, maybe, you know, one of his partners will eat my crankbait. I literally made a two foot pitch with my lipless and I caught that fish. It's like, can it get any freaking dumber? I don't, I don't know if it can. Oh my God, he's right there. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. He's trying to eat it. He's trying to eat it. He ate it. Oh my God. <laughs> I was going up and down with the thing. Oh my gosh. This place is stupid. So sick. What is going on there? Is this a good fish, dude? Like, what's going on? It's 100% fish. It's 100, well, no, it's 100 fish, but I'm wondering if it's like a nice one. It's right there, I see it. Oh, sh Dude, oh my god, oh my god, Fitz, don't lose this fish. Don't lose this fish. Just oh my god. keep reeling, just keep it tight, not too much pressure. Bring the rod over those tips. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine, just keep reeling, just keep reeling, just keep reeling. Just keep reeling. Keep reeling. This is such a good fish. Oh my god, I wish I had a scale with me. I'm so curious how big this is. Holy sh dude, that's a behemoth. Just keep it tight, just keep it tight. It's all good. He's hooked really well. He's in the boat. Oh my oh god. My god. god. <laughs> That's your biggest fish ever, dude. Congratulations. Oh my god. <laughs> we should, we'll get some dimensions on that. We can measure him and we can uh, figure out online how big he is. I think that's like close to seven. He's just a hair shy 21. <laughs> Here, hold your fish. Let's get some pictures. <laughs> this is tough. How heavy does that guy feel? Oh, wow, that's a fish. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's actually, oh my God, that's actually, oh my God, what's going on? Is that a fish? Oh my God, that's a good, oh my God, that's a good fish. Wow, okay, hang on, that's actually a giant. That's actually a pig. That's actually a good one. Oh boy. Yeah, like a really nice one. Like probably about a five pounder, maybe. Yeah, oh yeah, oh my God, that's a toad. That's a toad, oh man. Really shallow on the jerk bait. Oh my God, dude, look at the size of that fish. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Look at the gut. <laughs> we were just talking about it. <laughs> what is even going on right now? That is like a six pounder in a four pounder's body. And that thing just look at the scout. The scout in the clutch. Hands down. Big MVP status. Unreal. It's so funny. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Matt and uh, Rackley and, and Rob are also out here. They're doing a little hunting. And they decided to also do some fishing today as well. I just came out here to fish. And uh, yeah, like you have seen today, it has just been stupid. 
Look at this fish. That's definitely my biggest one of the day, hands down. Probably close to six. We don't have a working scale on the I do have a scale, but it doesn't work. And this guy absolutely hammered the scout, the Guggen Squad scout. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Ho, ho, ho. Big gut. I think this is probably going to be one of our last fish of the day. It's good to end on a giant like this. Definitely don't want to follow this after like a little dink. It's always strong to end on a high note. <laughs> it's just a stud, man. Unreal. We're going to grab a few quick pictures of this burfa and get it back in the water. On Like, dude, look at that. Just a fat so <laughs> absolute stud. Um, you gotta say bye to Lucky. Lucky, say bye to Phipps. You want to take her with? You can actually have her. I actually. Uh, I'm kind of done. It's like a. No, John, look over there. Why? What? You just gonna snag her? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Phipps. Take care, buddy. Thanks for fishing. Fly safe. I ain't gonna say goodbye, you're just walking away. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, as you can see, Lucky and I just dropped off uh, Fitz at the airport. Just figured I wouldn't film the whole process of getting from the lake back to DFW, but that was honestly such an insane day. To do that with a friend that I literally haven't seen in like four or five years, it almost feels like a decade, is so cool. Uh, Fitz is a really solid dude, and he's literally one of the dudes that I grew up bass fishing with, so. That was neat, and it's rare to be able to link up with, with people that I went to high school with and, and you know knew at such a young age. Anyway, Lucky and I are fully wrapping up today's video. We figured this would be a nice little spot to do it. Uh, we gotta get ready for some more fishing endeavors. The weather here in Texas is gonna be like absolutely amazing uh, for the next week, so lots more fishing, lots more adventuring. But I figured this is where we're gonna close out today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching today's epi. Hope you enjoyed it, and as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop. Thank you.